Hi, Story Gordon here. How's it going? Me too. It keeps going and it's going great. If you want to be a success, the question is, how do you do it? Now, if I ever figure it out, I'll tell you. I keep working at it, but I've been around here a long time, 79 years, and I've been working on becoming a success for at least 65 of it when my first love dumped me for being a jerk and I didn't want to live my life as a jerk. What is success? I looked it up. It's achieving a goal. So every time I set a goal, like cutting this video, editing it, uploading it to the internet, and posting it, that's a success. I've had a lot of successes. But so far today, I woke up. Now, you may not think that's a success, but I'm 79. I've had cancer. I smoked too much. I drank too much. I did not eat right. And yet here I am at 79, still adding one success after another. <clears throat> so this morning, I woke up, got cleaned up, went to the gym, worked out a little, turned on the coffee pot, wrote in my journal. I've had a successful day and now I'm cutting this video. I see success as demanding four essentials. Motivation, commitment, expertise, and persistence. Now, motivation, people talk about motivation. And when someone discovers I was a professional speaker, invariably the first question they ask is, oh, were you a motivational speaker? And I have to say no, but I was a motivated speaker. Motivation is simply a desire to participate. I wanted to speak. I love to speak. I've been speaking since I was 19. That's 60 years I've been a serious speaker. I'm fairly good at it. I'm not as good as I used to be because I don't work at it as hard. But still, the first essential is motivation. But how many motivations do we have? I have more motivations than I can possibly animate. So I have to pick and choose, narrow it down to the few I really, really, really want to do. Speaking is one of them. YouTubing is one of them. A Toastmasters Club is one. I've not only been speaking 60 years, I've been married 60 years. So my wife and our relationship is very high in my motivation. The second essential is commitment. Being motivated is one thing. I have been motivated to do many things in my life, but I had to make a commitment. I was motivated to be a high school math and science teacher when I graduated from high school, but I didn't make the commitment in college to pass with high enough grades to make it. So I joined the Air Force. In the Air Force, they sent me to tech school. I made a commitment to become a good student because I was married and I wanted to have my choice of duty. I overdid it. I committed myself to learning so well. When I graduated, they kept me as an instructor. Lo and behold, I became a professional speaker at 19 and spoke six hours a day, five days a week, most weeks for two years commitment. The third step is expertise. I had to know what I'm talking about. If you want to be a success, you need to have expertise in what it is you want to do. The fourth step is persistence, that you've got to do it no matter what. I guess the best example of that was back in 1995, when I was diagnosed with cancer. I had chemo every two weeks. I would have chemo one week, 
and go, go out and teach a seminar three, four, or five days the next week. Chemo one week, teach a seminar the next week. I did that for seven months. It's been over 20 years since my last chemo. Great. I retired in 2001. I now am able to do what it is I really want to do. But in retrospect, I always have. The difference is I don't have to do it looking for pay. I do it looking for participation in living. Well, that's it. What I see is the four essentials for stellar success. How does stellar come in? Look, you're a star. What is a star? A star is a bright spot in the universe out there all by itself. And every one of us is a star. How are we a star? Our DNA. Nobody else has our DNA, unless we're an identical twin. But even then, the DNA is only the beginning of our biology. Then we have psychology and consciousness and all of our desires and everything we want to do. So stellar begins with DNA. We become a stellar success when we achieve the goals we see as more important than all others. Well, that's my little bit on becoming a stellar success. You've got it all. You've got everything you need to become a stellar success.